Right, in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at the kind of layout, design, construction of this old uh, function generator. This is an exact, it's the company right there, model 566, uh, basically sweep and function generator. And I picked this up a little while ago. Just I like the look of it, and uh, I like the fact that all of the you know the main output as well as all of the auxiliary inputs and outputs and everything is on the front panel here. You don't have to go reaching around the back to access any of these points. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at through the front panel here, and then take a look at the kind of the design construction of this thing. So very easy to run because everything is just well labeled and well laid out. Uh, you have a range switch here to control what frequency range you want to operate at and that's accompanied with a multiplier so uh, for example if you have the range switch set to 1k the multiplier set to 0.1 and with the vernier dialed to zero like I have here that would be a hundred hertz output and if you adjust this up you know we could adjust it to there it'd be about 160 hertz output etc or you could adjust this range switch to go anywhere from you know, 100 hertz to 1k then you could jump to the next range and so on the run mode here, uh, run is just for a continuous, you know, uh, run of whatever function you select. Gate allows you to create uh, pulses of that signal by putting a gate pulse in here. Trigger will give you a single waveform for each time we trigger the instrument. Um, and then sweep is obviously when we do a sweep uh, oscillator, sweep generator. The stop frequency for the sweep is set by another set of these multiplier and vernier controls similar to the one that was on the start. And then the sweep time is uh, controlled right there. So all of the auxiliary inputs and outputs are right down here. Okay, That's a, a sync out that gives you a pulse for every cycle of whatever waveform we're creating. Okay, The gate uh, input here. Okay. That one is you know, when a, a, the gate value is high and you're in the gated mode, you'll create an output only when the gate is high. This is the voltage controlled uh, frequency input. The voltage here will control the frequency output. Okay. Then you've got a switch to control. If you want to run, make these waveforms asymmetric, you can control with that switch. Uh, manual triggering. And then you've got some variable attenuate, fixed attenuators you can dial in. Then there's the, the main 50 ohm output. There's another output that is 600 ohms, okay, and then there is a, a sweep output, which is the ramp voltage that uh, corresponds to the sweep voltage, and then a sweep sync. In fact, uh, I've got a capture of some of these waveforms on the scope screen back here. So if we take a look at this, there's our sweep voltage, okay, right here, okay, and then that's the main output. So you can see as the sweep voltage is low, the frequency of the main output is low, and as the sweep ramps up, the frequency ramps up. Okay. This next output here, this signal here is the sync output. That's the one that gives me a pulse for every cycle of the main output. And then the bottom one is the sweep sync. That gives me a little bit of a blip, a pulse, at the start of the sweep. Okay. Again, useful for triggering a scope when you're doing these swept measurements like on a filter or an IF or something like that. So that's what those uh, outputs all look like. Now I love the construction of this thing too because it's, it is a very simple thing. It's a nice study of uh, kind of a uh, you know, mid-70s discrete uh, circuit design. So uh, I was lucky to get all the schematics for this. And again, if you take a look at this, it's all discrete transistors. So uh, there's, a, there's a preamp right here followed by uh, there's a, the power amp schematic. Okay, there's the, uh, the output attenuators that were controlled by the switches. There's some... Uh, so biasing for the power amplifier here is more of a uh, push-pull type stage for the, for the 50 ohm output. Uh, this, and I'm not going to go through all the schematics here, but uh, these little bridges are all used for the sign shaping circuit to uh, convert the uh, internal... Um, actually, I think it starts off with a triangle wave and then uses these the nonlinear properties of the diodes to create the sine wave. And there's a bunch of adjustments to adjust the purity of the sine wave. But uh, just kind of cool, you know, in terms of uh, that it's all discrete design, okay. There's the only logic in this thing at all are these uh, quad to input and OR gates that are used for uh, uh, some of the triggering controls, okay. But the rest of this is all discrete devices. So just uh, kind of a cool thing. The only other integrated circuits besides uh, a handful of uh, 741 op amps are uh, the voltage regulator ICs.
uh, you know, three terminal voltage regulators. So just kind of a, a neat thing. When I did the uh, calibration on this, I, I, I took the this uh, diagram here is the adjustment locations uh, on the main board where all the adjustments are for adjusting you know the various uh, you know parameters uh, you know, for the circuit. Uh, so I kind of taped this up here on the top of the bench. So as I was going through the procedure, it was easy for me to go through and locate where the devices were inside on the board. And this whole thing is a single board construction, all through hole. Okay, I gotta see if I pull the light down here a little bit better. Okay, and uh, all through hole construction, uh, single layer board. It's even single layer in terms of uh, uh, you know copper foil. It, it isn't a multi-layer board. All the copper is on the bottom of the board. It's all through hole components. Everything's on the top side, with the exception of the things that are mounted uh, to the front panel here. So just a great example of again mid 70s type of design and construction uh, again the you know, you'll see a bunch of the uh, the op amps uh, down over here and some of the waveform generation circuitry that's over in this area uh, you'll see a bunch of uh, you know all the adjustment pots literally all over the place here to uh, to make all the adjustments to uh, to tweak this thing up and then the, some of the power supply down along the back here and then the power amplifier to uh, to drive the output here so Kind of a neat box. I just thought uh, you might appreciate seeing uh, seeing this thing. So if you happen to see one at a flea market or something like that, you'll know what it is and uh, might be able to appreciate what it is and maybe put it to use in your shop. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to doing some more for you. Take care.